This is Optimal Finance Daily, episode 1803. Top 5 Non-Medical Factors That Affect Your Life Insurance Rates by Jeff Root with GoodFinancialSense.com. And I'm your host and personal finance enthusiast, Diana Merriam. Now we're gonna get right to today's post and start optimizing your life. Top five non-medical factors that affect your life insurance rates by Jeff Root with goodfinancialsense.com. The Superman complex most healthy people have has a kryptonite when it comes to life insurance options. The non-medical factors that affect your life insurance rates. It's a huge shock to many people who get a free life insurance quote who are in the best shape of their lives when they can't qualify for the best life insurance rates because of non-medical factors. It usually goes something like this. I CrossFit three times a week and compete in Ironman triathlons, and you're telling me that I can't qualify for the best rates because I'm a rock climber? Yes, that's what we're saying. In our eight years of helping consumers find the lowest life insurance rates available, Here are the top five non-medical factors that affect your life insurance rates in no particular order. Non-medical factors that affect life insurance rates. Number one, hazardous occupations. Have you seen Deadliest Catch? Those 700 pound steel traps on a boat being swung around by 25 foot waves isn't really the ideal risk for life insurance companies. Expect to pay more, a lot more. We're also talking about occupations like oil rig workers, iron workers, think high rise structural construction, and bomb diffusers. Yes, I've actually insured a police bomb diffuser, one of the sharpest clients I can remember, but he pays a lot more for his life insurance than if he didn't have this hazardous occupation. Again, most of these people are in great shape because of the nature of their occupation, but their non-medical factors come into play when underwriting their applications. Number two, hazardous activities. In this group, the most common risks we see are deep sea scuba divers, private pilots, motor racing, skydivers, and high altitude rock climbers. Most of these people have to be in great shape to perform these activities at a high level, and most of them are. However, these risky activities come with increased premiums when it comes to life insurance, no matter how fit you are. Be prepared to fill out a questionnaire regarding the specifics of your hazardous activities as life insurance companies will determine your pricing based on how many factors, including your training, experience, and how often you perform these activities. If you're going to participate in high-risk activities, don't be surprised if you land in the high-risk life insurance premium bucket. Number three, foreign travel. If you have any plans to travel abroad, your life insurance company wants to know about them. If it's a high-risk area, like any of the places on the government travel warnings list, you'll have a very hard time finding coverage until you come home from your trip. Life insurance companies will also be looking at the purpose of travel and length of stay. For example, you may have a two-week vacation planned to Bali, Indonesia, but Indonesia may be on the State Department's travel warnings list or be a high-risk country in the company's underwriting guidelines. Many companies won't consider this risk after factoring the purpose and length of stay. Many companies will ask about previous foreign travel as well. If you show a pattern of traveling to potentially high-risk places, they may factor that into their underwriting decision. Number four, family history. This is the biggest disappointment to consumers purchasing life insurance because it's something you have no control over. Generally speaking, if any of your parents or siblings passed away before the age of 60 of cancer, heart disease, or diabetes, most life insurance companies won't offer their best health classification. However, there are some highly rated and very well-known life insurance companies that don't factor this in. If you're in great health, make sure your agent provides you with those options. 
And number five, DUIs and moving violations. Life insurance companies will pull your motor vehicle report and factor in any excessive moving violations and DUIs. A couple speeding tickets usually isn't an issue, but when you get a reckless driving ticket, DUI, or an excessive number of moving violations, it becomes a factor in your life insurance pricing. Every life insurance company will have different underwriting guidelines for each specific high-risk activity. The best advice we can give is to be open, honest, and detailed with your agent about your non-medical factors. It's your life insurance agent's job to find you the best life insurance rates available. And the more information we have, the better chance you have of actually securing the best rates. Lastly, if you have family or anyone financially dependent on you, don't be disheartened because of the higher pricing. Many people we speak with think it's unfair that they have to pay more because of these non-medical factors that come into play when determining your life insurance rates. It's unfair to your family if you don't protect them. Remember the purpose of this coverage. Tomorrow is promised to no one. So protect your family today. You just listened to the post titled Top 5 Non-Medical Factors that affect your life insurance rates by Jeff Root with goodfinancialsense.com. I don't know about you, but I don't think decorating our homes is easy. This year, let the expertise of Jenny Kane Home curate your dream space. Jenny Kane Home has everything you'd need to make your home your favorite place to be, from elevated accents to timeless furniture and more. Something for every room and sensibility. The aesthetic is beautiful. You have to see it for yourself. From cozy to more of a cool California style, their pieces make every room feel complete. You can see what I mean with their harbor sofa and sectional. With the perfect neutral colors, it fits into any space, which is super important as the sofa is one of the most important pieces in any home. Jenny Kane Home creates California-inspired classics for any room or mood. Grounded in natural textures and inviting neutrals, these are the pieces you'll love coming home to. Create the space you'll never want to leave at JennyK.com. Get 15% off your first order when you use code OFD at checkout. That's 15% off your first order. J-E-N-N-I-K-A-Y-N-E dot com. Promo code OFD. As someone who doesn't have life insurance, I thought this article was pretty interesting. I had no idea all these non-medical considerations went into figuring out one's premium. I found the foreign travel section fascinating. I have to assume this would only play a role when you're getting the insurance. If you've got a 20-year policy and five years into it, you decide to take a month-long trip somewhere that's considered risky, what happens then? It's not like you lied on your application. You simply hadn't decided at the time you establish your policy, your travel plans years in the future. I tried to research this question myself simply out of curiosity but couldn't find a good answer. Everything I could see stated the same thing as this article. You need to disclose any travel plans at the time you're submitting your application. I was trying to see if it was possible for life insurance to not pay out if you died in certain foreign countries, but I'm sure that's specified somewhere in the fine print. So if anyone has better information on this point, feel free to send it in to finance at oldpodcast.com and I'll share these details in our Optimal Living Daily Facebook group. I mentioned that I don't have life insurance, and that's simply because I don't have any dependents, and I don't plan to have any dependents. I do know people who want to have children eventually, and they'll buy a 30-year life insurance policy at 30 years old, even when they aren't in a relationship. So in theory, it could be years before they're married and or have children. The reason why they do this is so that they can secure the lowest premium possible as life insurance does get more expensive as you age. That should do it for another edition of Optimal Finance Daily. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you on the Wednesday show tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.